The rector president of Cathedral Prep School and Seminary can relate to students who were forced into distance learning. He was also taking classes online. Father James Caroli joins us now to talk about the challenges he faced while receiving his doctorate in education during the pandemic. So Father, congratulations on receiving your doctorate, I believe from St. Thomas University in Florida. You completed all of your classes online while still serving as the rector president of Cathedral Prep and all of your other duties. Tell us about the process and how long it all took. Well, thank you so much for uh, your words. And it took about two and a half years and in completing the, the work, the last few months was really on the dissertation itself and the defense, but it was a, a wonderful program that really helped me to be a better leader. I started the process when I was uh, the pastor of St. Rose of Lima, mm -hmm. uh, not knowing that I would come back to cathedral as the rector president, but wanting to educate myself and grow in my own formation as a better leader. And that's really what the program at St. Thomas was really all about. Not so much about the theories, but rather about the practicalities of leadership. Okay, what kind of challenges did you face once the world went into lockdown? How was learning different for you then, if at all? Well, the learning style itself, because we always had it online, mm -hmm. uh, wasn't so much the challenge. The challenge was, and, and as it was from the very beginning, just finding the time uh, to do the program. And because we went into a lockdown and because uh, we were trying something brand new here at Cathedral, uh, a lot of the focus and a lot of the time went towards that and uh, kind of very tempting to push aside my own education as you're educating the young people. So that ultimately was the challenge, um, is, is the time itself and finding the time to do it and to do it well. So since you were getting your doctorate in education, how did the pandemic shape the curriculum, if at all? Well, I think one of the things that we always speak about in terms of leadership and specifically in leadership in education is working with crisis and working with change. Mm -hmm. uh, that seems to be a common theme throughout all of the classes and here we were experiencing a major crisis and a major change in education. So we were able to really use our everyday experiences to bring about what we were all doing together as a class uh, to grow in our own knowledge and our own skills of leadership. All right, so what advice do you have for students who are learning online and for the teachers who have to teach online? I think that the most important thing, and as I tell my young men here and as I tell the teachers, is really patience. Uh, to be patient with each other, to be patient with yourself. It's new for everybody. It's not ideal. Um, but yet, when we work together and when we see education more as a partnership, a great things certainly can happen. All right. So how do you plan to implement your new degree um, over at Cathedral Prep? Well, that's the... the good thing about this degree that it was a lot of practicality. So certainly a lot of things have already been implemented mm -hmm. and now taking what I've learned through my own research in the dissertation uh, to really try to implement many of those things in the school as well as the other roles that I have in our diocese. All right, Father James Caroli, congrats again on this wonderful achievement. Thank you so much. God bless. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and then click on the bell to get instant updates about all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.